In this problem, we're going to look at a rather interesting integral related to the hyperbolic functions and the inverse hyperbolic functions, as it turns out. So the integral we're interested in is 1 over square root of 1 plus 4x squared dx. And I remind you that we can often rewrite this a little bit more efficiently like that. Okay, so there is a formula for this kind of integral um, that's closely related to a corresponding formula for a circular function uh, kind of integral. So let me remind you what those formulas are. So the sort of more standard formula is that the integral of square root of 1 plus x squared dx equals sinh inverse of x plus a constant. And in fact, there's a, an alternate form where this inverse hyperbolic function is expressed in terms of a logarithm. It's log of x plus square root of 1 plus x squared plus c. And I want to contrast that to a corresponding formula where we replace the plus sign there with a minus sign. So square root of 1 over 1 minus x squared uh, dx equals sine inverse of x plus a constant. Okay, now both of these formulas come from corresponding differential formulas. So this one comes from essentially the fact that the derivative of the original function sinh x is cosh x which is square root of 1 plus sinh x squared. And correspondingly, this formula here ultimately comes down to or is related to the corresponding differential formula that the derivative of sine x is a cos x, which is square root of 1 minus sine squared x. And so you can think of the plus sign and the minus signs here as somehow being natural reflections of the plus signs and the minus signs and related in regard to these uh, identities with the hyperbolic and circular functions. Okay, so let's solve this problem. So we're going to calculate i. And we're going to do that by making a substitution. So let's let y equals 2x. So in which case dy equals to dx. Then we're going to get one half the integral. Instead of a dx, there'll be a dy, and on the bottom there'll be square root of 1 plus y squared, because the y is 2x. That's a basic trick to convert something like this into the standard form that we were talking about before. And now this is just one half of sinh inverse of y plus a constant. And now coming back to our substitution, we can replace everything in terms of x to get 1 half sinh inverse of 2x plus a constant. And of course, we can also rewrite this in terms of a log uh, if we wanted to.